Hello, my name is talk for dues and I just wanted to do a quick guide on how to set up a kneeboard for DCS. So, if you're on the Take Flight Discord, you can find uh, a kneeboard in the student section, potentially, if your instructor has posted it to your student section, or uh, the aircraft resources section. Um, we try to put them in the aircraft resources section so you can access them regardless of whether you're an actual student in the class or not. You can just see it anyways, right? So, you can navigate to your aircraft, and then you can navigate to the kneeboard page, and you will install the zip file that is present uh, in that kneeboard page uh, onto your computer so that you can actually have it, right? Here I put instructions, but I'm going to explain all that to you here. So, once you've installed it, you're going to figure out wherever it, it usually it would download to downloads, um, and you're going to bring it over to your kneeboards folder. Now, first of all, you have to find your kneeboard folder. So what you're going to do is you're going to follow this path right up here, right? It's going to be usually on your C drive. Usually it's on your Windows drive, regardless of what drive it is. But usually that's C by default. Then you're going to navigate to Users. Then you're going to go to your username. So mine is Talk4. Um, your username obviously is going to be different. So just navigate to whatever whoever's using the account on your computer at the moment. Then you're going to go to Saved Games. And then you're going to go to DCS. It may be called DCS.OpenBeta. Don't worry about it too much. You just want to find your DCS saved games folder, right? Inside of this folder, uh, there may be a kneeboard folder. If there is not a kneeboard folder, go ahead and right click, hit new, and hit folder, make a new folder, and just call it kneeboard, right? Uh, I'm not going to do that because it already exists, so I'm going to delete that but you get the idea, right? Just name it Kneeboard, that way you have the folder. Inside this folder, you are going to have a look at, uh, you, it's probably gonna be empty for you unless you've already set up another Kneeboard. So, what you're gonna do is you're going to unzip the file by right-clicking it and hitting Extract All, or by clicking it and hitting Extract All up here. Um, and then you're going to get a normal folder out of it, right? Inside this normal folder, you are going to have a whole bunch of PNG files, and these PNG files are what DCS actually uses to display these images. So for instance, the first page of my kneeboard here, if I click this, is going to look like this in game, right? Um, Keep in mind that these file names are very, very specific. So once you unzip these, they should already be all set up for you. But if you're setting up your own kneeboard um, or you're using a kneeboard from someone else, you will need to make sure that the name of the actual aircraft is in, your, uh, in the folder and named perfectly. Uh, you can find the name on DCS forums if you're looking for an aircraft. Uh, you can find all, all the kneeboard names pretty easily. Um, so that's about it. Uh, do keep in mind here, I have a, another demonstration where I have an F-14A and an F-14B. Um, these are considered two different aircraft. So the B, I have all my kneeboard there, and the A, I have my kneeboard here. Um, if I only had one of these folders, then uh, it would only display in that aircraft. So if I only had the B folder, it wouldn't display in the A. And that happens with a, a couple of aircraft, but it's mainly the F-14. So if you have any questions, feel free to leave it in the comment or ask us on the Discord, and good luck.